We must have a common denominator. So to get the common denominator, we multiply x by x minus 1. In the first fraction, if we multiply the denominator by x, we have to multiply the numerator by x. And in the second fraction, if we multiply the denominator by x minus 1, then we multiply the numerator by x minus 1. You can do this in different stages. I'm going to do it all in 1. The division becomes a multiply, and we multiply by the reciprocal. So we invert the fraction, and we factorise 3x minus 6, which is 3 upon x minus 2. x minus 1s are going to cancel. My first numerator becomes x minus 2x, so it's minus x plus 2, all over x multiplied by 1 over 3 upon x minus 2. My first numerator I can factorise by taking out a factor of minus 1. Now I have x minus 2 that cancel and that leaves me with minus 1 over 3x. L2 is perpendicular to L1 so we're going to start by finding the gradient of L1 and I'm going to change the subject to y. So y equals 2x minus 1. So the gradient of L1 is 2, which means the gradient of L2 is minus 1 half. We're going to use the formula y minus y1. That goes through 4, 2. Equals m upon x minus x1. Which gives us that y minus 2 equals minus 1 half x plus 2 y equals minus one half x plus four. Finally, what we want to do is the point of intersection, and that's going to happen when this is equal to this. So when two x minus one equals minus one half x plus four. So two and a half x equals five. X equals two, which means that y equals minus a half x, so minus one plus four which is 3, so the point of intersection is 2, 3.